Hello users and welcome to my video and in this very special video I'm gonna show you how to crack a WEP security so let's get started so first thing I need to do is download the backtrack software uh, the, the link is on the more info so you can just download from there and burn it to DVD CD and now I'm just booting it to and now it's loading so guys this is real time and no editing at all I'm just showing you from scratch so all the first timers you can watch this video and you can you know then how to hack a WAP and remember guys this is just for educational purpose only so currently it's loading hardware drivers such as mouse keyboard and stuff so everything is done now it checks my CPU I got quad core in my laptop so yeah it's okay now it says root at BT all I need to do is type I hope you guys see start X press enter So the operating system is now loading. So guys, this is the main screen of Backtrack 4. It's based on Linux. So all I need to do, I can hack WEP in two types in two methods first one is kismet by using kismet but I'm using normal command line interface because I love command line interfaces so let's get started and it's much more easier so first I open a console uh, it looks like a DOS mode but it's called kernel and shell I call it shell so it says root at bt all you need to do is first you check your wireless adopter that is it uh, monitoring mode is on I mean sniffing is on or off so I'm gonna check my wireless monitor now wireless adopter so it's currently it's, it's off because there is no enable or is nothing you know, written there is monitor mode is off so I need to start the I need to put monitor mode enable so my wireless adapter can sniff around and check for any ESS IDs and networks and stuff and then I will able to crack it so I'm gonna show you my own you know my own router I'm gonna crack my own router and let's get started so first thing we need is to start my wireless adapter so the command is As you can see, my interface name is WLAN0. So I'll use in you know WLAN user WLAN0 in every command. So probably if your you know interface WLAN1 or 2, it doesn't matter. You need to use your interface name. So it's a technical name for my Ethros wireless adapter built in my on my laptop. Oh, I made a mistake. It's Airmon. So Airmon is now activated my monitor mode. You can see that my it's, it's written there monitor mode enable. So let's search for wireless networks.
so you can see all my networks here what second so you can see all my networks here you can see O2 wireless network uh, that's my network I'm gonna hack my own network so okay so to stop this sniffing to stop this thing press control plus Z so it's not stopped first we need to copy this ESSID PSSID then we need to type aerodum dash ng slash write w means write make a file name yes and then bsid press shift press insert then type that c means channel so my wireless is on channel 6 So now I just locked my adapter to just get you know data and beacons from one network and that's O2, that's my own network. So now we need to start a new session, open a new shell. Okay. So as you can see on this and this side, on the left hand side, there's two four files. The most important one is yas onecap it's a capturing file so it captures the data so you need to get at least 5000 10000 15000 data to enable to hack or crack your password or security of the BEP so I need to first grab this command this command is for authentication so you can see I just try to you know talk to the router and it says association successful and here you can see it's now open authentication is open for me so I can go you know log into the router and stuff next Now I'm going to start capturing the data. So now I'm trying to get ARPs. So ARP is data and data is ARP. So the more more ARP you get or more the data you get, the easier for you to start hacking. So I'm trying to get ARPs now. It's currently reading like 400 packets at the moment. Once it got like two ARP, it will start, you know, jumping ARPs. You can see it's now it's now increasing. You know, it's like it's like madman and stuff. It's like four grand now, four thousand ARPs. It's now five, six. It's going. If I show you my data, it's, my data is increasing now. The number per second is packet per second. It's now 500 packets per second. You can see 8,000 data at the moment. It's now 10,000 data. So, okay. I think it's enough. I have to go to DIR. This is my file, yas.cap. Just copy it. Now type. slash Wait. I don't need to write WN0. Just type aircrate.ng my file name and press enter so you can see it's now testing the keys it's now trying to you know makes the combination of the keys and find me key so now you can see I got my own key it's like key found and it's a decrypted correctly 100% so that's my password so that's the way you hack a WAP security network so I just need to stop it then or you got just when you got key just write it down somewhere on a piece of paper and then start your windows and just put this key code there and you're good to go you're ready to go so guys thank you for watching this very very special video and hope you like my videos and if you got any question about 
how to hack this thing like that, just drop in the comment box below or visit my website. Subscribe, be sure to subscribe to me and see you soon.